We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Well, it looks like Infinity sent us a nice SUV, QX60. Sharp looking machine. Very expensive, just under 60 grand for the way this one's equipped. When you're spending that much money for a vehicle, you make sure the headlights work in the dark. We're going to take this out night driving. This is how these lights operate. Looks like triple bulbs on each side, but hard to tell. But hey, it's the results that count, right? So let's give it a whirl. For those interested in fuel economy figures, 1,355.4 miles, averaging 20.6 mpg, and mainly city commuting at 26 miles per hour. There you go. That includes our headlight test and night drive. If you want to see our entire road test, we did for a week of driving, break up lots of miles of fuel economy figures. Just click in the line that's coming up and watch the whole thing. All right, it's dark enough. I have the low beams on. I only see one headlight on at the moment on the far right. And those were the low beams. Now we got the high beam setting. Got two giant headlights going here, or bulbs, I should say. So I guess that's the way it works. Low beam, you got one bulb. High beam, you got two on each side. And here we have the tail lights, long and thin. Easy to see, that's what counts. License plate light. Emergency lights with the tail lights on. Got it on the mirror, that's nice. Big ones on the front, no problem seeing them. Especially with the headlights off. Yeah, they're big enough. Easy to see with the taillights off too. When I open the door, I don't want the interior lights to come on. And there's a switch to turn off the interior lights at all times. I like that feature. If you need to turn the cabin lights on, wow, they're very bright. Ooh. Yeah, everything's lit up. No dinky bulbs here. And since we're inside, let's put the gear reverse and look at the camera. There you go. Now let's switch over to the front camera. Not sure why we need a front camera. Maybe when you're off-roading, it comes in handy. Climbing controls light up, but uh, unfortunately the infotainment controls and the control knob don't. You're on your own with that touchy feel. And gauge cluster lights up pretty good. And unfortunately, many of the power window controls and power mirrors don't light up. Come on, Finity, where you're trying to save a couple of bucks in electricity here. And here we have the low beams on a wall 33 yards away or 100 feet, and the beam is way above the bushes. That's a good sign, a very bright. That's what we want. Good wide spread. Go to high beam. Yeah, got some real power here. And no complaints about the low beam setting. And down the dark, dingy street on low beam and high beam. Yeah, these are pretty good headlights. Not weak at all. Well, the high beams definitely do a good job of lighting up the road signs down the street or highway. Okay, overall, I'd say these headlights test and all the night equipment works pretty good. A few interior pieces that should be lit up but aren't, but Hey, it's not a deal killer. Can't have everything. And that includes our Q60 headlight test. If you want to see the complete road test we did in a week of driving, just click and watch.